Hello, it's Joseph from Gorilla 3D. Um, in this screencast, we're going to go ahead and go over the basics of time execution within your PHP script and finding out what took how much time running in PHP. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just open up a blank file here. Its name is test.php, and I'm start typing my PHP code in here. All right. So, and something I want to test is say, let's say that the for loop and the for each loop and I want to see which one's faster either running a for each ranged or just a for each or just a for I mean uh, just a certain set of iterations so um, I'm just going to go ahead and first write out my first for code and say that i i equals zero and then i is less than 10,000 and then i is going to be incremented by 1 which is the plus plus and then we're going to say t equals i and then we're going to have to write our for each loop which is for each which I obviously cannot type right uh, and then we're going to say that range Zero through nine thousand. Actually, just do one through ten thousand, which is exactly ten thousand iterations. Because instead of starting at zero, we're going to start at one, and it gives one as the start number, and ten thousand as the last number. And then we can do as i and give our curly breaks brackets and uh, t equals i again. So now we have our two loops set up and we want to calculate the time between each of them to see which method is faster. Um, so we're going to say start equals micro time and we're going to set this to true. Now if you're not using PHP 5 and using PHP 4 or lower you can go to php.net slash micro time and there's a function in the comments at the very bottom of the comments allowing you to use micro time to return a Unix timestamp with a decimal and that's what we really need as far as what we're trying to do in this screencast alright and then that's how you actually get the total execution time of the, the loop we're running right now we can just do micro time again set it to true minus start and then concatenate seconds um, as some kind of visual aid and then we can move on to our next one and we just simply repeat the process. So we do start equals micro time, set it to true, and again echo micro time minus start and concatenate seconds onto it as well. So now we have our script done, we're going to go ahead and just run this. I'm going to save and exit and you can use a browser uh, upload to your host if you don't know how to do any of that you probably want to check out my other videos on setting up your own server or I'll probably put up some more on FTP or something but anyways to actually run this I'm going to use um, if you're on Unix or some kind of Unix variable um, like Linux you can use the time command which will actually execute or calculate the amount of time the script took to run um, and then for me I'm using the PHP 5 command line interface and our script was test.php. So we're going to go ahead and run this, and there's obviously a nice error on line 12. So let me go ahead and go back and re edit this and go to line 12 here. Uh, I didn't spell echo right. Nice. Okay. So um, go ahead and just exit this now and rerun this. So now we have our script time, and it says that it took our scripts uh, 0. 08 seconds I guess and uh, the first method took 0 0.32 seconds and the second method took 0 0.17 um, and I think that's off because actually it's not hmm. anyways you know you can keep running a couple of times and see which method is actually faster and as you can see there's a huge difference as far as performance as the first method and the last method. Um, so as you can see here, it took uh, 0 0.03, and 
and the next one took 0 0.003, which is the actual what it should have outputted because the first method is a lot faster than the, n the last method of iterating through 10,000 i's, I guess you can say, i variables. Um, uh, so I guess that's a little bad on PHP's part. Um, sometimes the first time you run it, it might be caching your execution code to run it faster the next time. So make sure you run it a couple times that, uh, before that. Um, and just if you want to learn how to actually calculate the amount of time between functions and variables and loops and other parts of your code, you might want to look into a PHP profiler. If you use an Eclipse, there's a PHP debugger developed by Zend. You can use to profile that. Um, I'll provide links on the side. But other than that, you're pretty much on your own and f trying to find a, a decent profiler to use for your IDE that you use to develop with. Um, and that's pretty much it. Have fun executing your scripts and finding out how much time should things to run. And if you want to challenge yourself, write, write code that's faster.